Planning a visit to Vienna? This city has so much to offer its visitors that we decided to produce several video guides with special tips on sightseeing, nightlife, family attractions, and more. In the meantime, here are the top 10 places you have to see in Vienna. At number 10, visit the river that has been an inspiration for many classical music pieces, the Danube. The Danube is lined with walking and biking paths, lovely cafes, and large green areas, perfect for laying out. The water is very clean, so don't hesitate taking a dip on a hot day. Feeling adventurous? There's even a place where you can wakeboard on a massive tow rope. At number 9, walk down Maria Hilfestrasse, where you'll find hip shops, cafes, and gallerias. Once you've completed your journey, you'll find yourself in the heart of Vienna. In 8th place, take a ride on the Ring Tram. For 7 euros, one can hop on the bright yellow tram and ride around the central ring of the city. There's no shortage of famous architecture along the ring, and the ride will help you orient yourself in the part of the city with the most attractions. The tour is a quick 30 minutes and audio guides are available in 7 different languages. Reaching 7th place is the Nashmark, and it's the most famous market in Vienna. The one and a half kilometer market is lined with fresh fruits and vegetables, street food like kebabs and falafel, and affordable restaurants. You'll find worldly cuisines from classical Viennese to sushi. Our tip, visit the market on a Saturday where you'll find an extension of the market. The Southwest parking lot is filled with immigrant dealers selling everything from jewelry to Super Nintendo video games. In sixth place is the Museums Quarter, a centralized location where you'll find many of Vienna's notable museums. During the day, lay out in the sun-splashed square and drink a famous Viennese coffee while you decide which museum to visit next. Our tip? If you're visiting in October, the long night of museums is a must. For one night, over 650 institutions open their doors until 1 a.m. A cheap ticket will gain you access to every one of these, as well as transportation between the museums. In fifth place, take one of the many U-Bahns to Stephensplatz, where you'll find the St. Stephen's Cathedral. Entrance to this beautiful cathedral is free, but a tour or access to the towers and its stunning view of Vienna will cost you a small fee. There are also fascinating catacombs underneath the church. Once you're done, you'll find yourself in the shopping center of Vienna. Even if you can't afford these pricey designer stores, getting an ice cream and window shopping through its beautiful neighborhood is just as fun. Feeling a bit exhausted from all the commotion? Go recharge at Prater Park. You'll find cafes, small lakes, and plenty of green area to enjoy a nice day. Once you're recharged, head into Prater Amusement Park, where you'll find roller coasters, irresistible junk food, and of course, the iconic Vienna Ferris wheel. Go visit the former Imperial Summer Home, which might give you a laugh once you see it. Schönbrunn Palace is a massive and magnificent palace in the 13th district of Vienna. Tours are offered, but our tip, unless you're a palace aficionado, the beautiful gardens and kilometers of walking paths are just as interesting. There's also a zoo in the palace grounds, which may be a good option if you're traveling with kids. Before you leave, hike up the hill to the Garden House Gloriette and imagine that you're 16th century royalty. In second place, you'll understand why Schönbrunn Palace was simply a summer home after visiting the legendary Belvedere Complex. The complex consists of two palaces, several gardens, and subsidiary buildings. One could spend an entire day at Belvedere and not fully absorb the stunning architecture, endless gardens, beautiful artwork, and sheer magnitude of the grounds. Why not join a tour to make sure you cover all the impressive sights? No trip to Vienna would be complete without seeing a classical music concert. There is no shortage of venues for classical concerts in Vienna, and there are plenty of fellows dressed as Mozart in the city center who would be happy to sell you a ticket. Our tip? Visit the iconic Staatsoper and see arguably the world's best orchestra, the Vienna Philharmonic. While we promise it will be an expensive evening, we can also promise it will be unforgettable.